Diabetes related foot ulcers affect around 15% of people with diabetes at some point in their life. Foot ulcers place a heavy burden on the individual, often disrupting the person's lifestyle and capacity to work, affecting their family, requiring intensive treatment and presenting the very real risk of non-healing with or without amputation. For a subgroup of people, foot ulceration becomes a chronic and recurrent problem throughout their life. The high societal burden is largely driven by the cost of diabetes related hospital admissions and lower limb amputations, for which foot ulcers are a leading cause. The focus of our review article is not the causes and treatments of diabetes related foot ulcers. This is already covered in the many excellent and freely available guidelines. When guidelines are implemented, we can see improvements in patient outcomes and reduced amputations follow. Overall, there's evidence that more patients are healing and healing rates of around 75% are documented. It's well understood, of course, that patient outcomes are a function of both disease severity and quality of care. So in this article, we have sought to explore those situations we believe contribute to the poor prognosis of the 25% of patients with diabetes who have non-healing foot ulcers. As authors, some of us with over 20 years experience studying and treating patients with diabetes, we have considered the dilemma of hard to heal wounds, asking what it is that makes ulcers hard to heal. This has led us to devise the figure presented, an Ishikawa or FISH diagram of the main issues negatively affecting outcome for patients with delayed healing. These issues form the basis of our review. In the review, we address the physical factors associated with causation and delayed healing, but also the less quantifiable effects of failure of translation of research into practice, the healthcare system and patient behaviours. The expanding area of wound fluid analysis brings us closer to identifying individual non-healing wounds and has the capacity to provide more targeted therapy. Missing the early opportunities to identify non-healing, together with inadequate assessment and management of infection, pressure and ischemia, sets patients on a pathway to chronicity and poor outcomes. There's ample evidence that treatment delay worsens prognosis and yet delays are common and multifactorial. For patients with mental health problems, particularly depression, this often hinders them from making good decisions relating to their self-care and failure to present for treatment which has a negative effect on outcome. This article discusses the many interrelated factors that make ulcers hard to heal. If we are to improve outcomes for people with diabetes related foot ulcers, there needs to be a focus on mitigating the barriers to translation of evidence into practice. Addressing patients' mental health and supporting them to achieve adherence to treatment is also a priority. At the same time, early identification of hard to heal wounds and therapies that address factors such as infection, ischemia, inflammation and pressure remain critically important.